Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create flying photos slideshow, like this. So let's get started, first create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called main comp. Then create a new solid background layer. Now search gradient ramp effect, and go to the effect control panel, and change start color dark blue color, and end color black, change ramp shape radial ramp and move the center point top left corner then select the background layer and pre-compose it's called BG comp now go to project window and create a new composition it's called the main photo one this is our main photo comp here we have some images so drag your main photo into the main photo 1 composition and resize according to your composition. Now create one more composition. This is our placeholder 1 comp and I want to this comp square shape. So change the height around 1500 pixels. So it looks like this. Now drag your other images into the placeholder 1 composition, and resize according to the composition. Now we want to create a border, so select rectangle tool, and double click on rectangle icon, so it will create square shape around the composition, fill color none, stroke color white, and stroke around 70 pixels. Now duplicate the placeholder 1 com, I have around 5 images, so I want to duplicate placeholder 1 5 times, then select all placeholder and drag into the timeline, and convert into the 3D layer. Hit S for scale and decrease scale amount 50%. Now change the image of every placeholder, so open placeholder 2 and replace your image. Similarly, we will replace the image of all the placeholder. I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After replace all images, drag the main photo 1 comp into the timeline, between placeholders layers, and convert into the 3D layer, and also decrease the scale around 70%. Then create a new camera, I am using 50mm preset camera. Now. We have to place all our placeholder comp layers randomly in our composition, but let me first change the color of our main photo comp layer, so that we can easily identify it. Now we want to rotate placeholder layers, except main photo comp, so select placeholder and hit R for rotation, and randomly change the orientation, and move the Z position little far from the camera. Similarly, we will also rotate the other placeholders and move the Z position. So again I am skipping this part so that you do not have to wait. After placing it, our comp will look like this. Now create a null layer, rename the layer, and it's called rotation. Convert the null layer into a 3D layer, then select all placeholder comp layer and parent with the null layer. Select the null layer and hit R for rotation, go to the first frame, and add a keyframe, then go to around 6 seconds forward, and change the orientation like this. Cool. Now we will do the little animation with our main photo comp layer, so select main photo layer and hit R for rotation, go to the first frame and add a keyframe on orientation. Then go to 6 seconds forward and change the XYZ orientation little bit, 
just for a touch. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select camera layer, and turn on the depth of field. Increase blur level around 150%, aperture around 100 pixels. And adjust the focus distance. I think we should change aperture around 150 pixels. And adjust the focus distance, so that our main photo comes into focus, and all other photos are blur. I think we should also increase blur around 200%, and adjust focus distance until you get your best. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create one more null layer. This is our camera control layer. And parent your camera with this null layer, and convert into a 3D layer. Hit P for the position, and go to 1 second forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to the first frame, and change Z position far away from the camera, like this. Then go to 5 seconds forward. And add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second forward, and change the Y position like this. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. So it's come with zoom effect. Then stay a few seconds. And out like this. Perfect. Now add some glow effects, so create a new solid layer, search gradient ramp effect. Move the center point top left corner, and change the start color, little dark blue color. Change end color black. Also change ramp shape radial ramp, and layer mode normal to screen. Then move this layer below all the placeholder layers. Cool. Now we have some elements. First drag bokeh footage into the timer line, and change mode normal to screen. And change opacity around 50%. As you see our bokeh footage not long enough, so duplicate the footage and move forward when our first bokeh footage ends. Perfect. Now drag ink drop footage into the timer line, below the all placeholder layers, change layer mode normal to screen. Here you can see ink drop footage, but as you can see this is came from top to bottom, I want bottom to top, so rotate the ink drop footage 180 degree. Cool. As you can see our ink drop start around 1 second. So go to around 1 second and trim the layer. Now select ink drop footage, right click go to time, and select time stretch, and change the stretch factor 50%, so that our ink drop come fast. Perfect, it's look good to me. Convert ink drop layer into 3D layer. As you can see it's come over our main photo, so go to 2 view horizontal, and move the Z position far from the camera, and resize the footage. And also move the ink drop footage around 1 second forward. But in the last keyframe here is a problem. Here you can see it looks not good. So select ink drop layer and search motion tile effect and change output height around 500, and check mirror edges. Now it's look better. Perfect. Now again go to project window, and drag light leak footage into the timer line, and change mode normal to screen. Cool. Then drag particle footage, 
and change mode normal to screen. I think we should decrease the opacity of bugger footage around 30%. Now add some color correction, so create an adjustment layer. And apply curves effects. And adjust your curves according to your choice. Now apply photo filter effects, and change filter type, cooling filter 80, and density around 10%. perfect, it's look good to me. Now we want to create vintage look, so create a black solid layer. Select ellipse tool and double click to make perfect ellipse. Then check inverted. And open mask property. And increase the feather amount. Then select the mask and resize it. You can play the mask setting until you get your best. Perfect. Our first slide has done. Now let me quickly show you how to create the second slide. So first select all layer and pre-compose them. It's called scene 1. Now duplicate scene 1 and move the layer when our first slide starts going out of the composition. Now go to project window and duplicate scene 1 comp, and replace with duplicate scene 1 layer, then drag your scene 2 below the scene 1 layer, now select scene 1 and hit T for opacity, and add a keyframe, then go to around 10 seconds forward and change opacity 0%, now open scene 2 comp, and select camera control layer, and delete the first keyframe, because we want our scene 2 to come from bottom to top. So go to the first frame, and change the Y position like this. Perfect. Then also change the last keyframe animation like this. Our second slide has complete. Cool. One more thing we can do, select all placeholder and main photo comp, and turn on motion blur. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.